So today's video is going to be very controversial and it might anger you, but I want you to hear me out. Today's video, you're going to learn why I believe that if this country does actually suffer another civil war, that there is a very high likelihood that the liberal side might actually win that civil war instead of the conservative side. Now, there might be a lot of people that might scoff at this and say, hey, we're the side that has all the guns. We're the side that has men that are actually in fighting shape. Our men don't drink soy drinks and wimpy stuff like that. How could we ever possibly lose? But I want you to hear me out on this. Now, one of the first points that I wanna make is that I do believe that in our next civil war that it won't be that it will not be conservative men fighting liberal men around major cities I, I, without any clear battle lines being drawn. I do actually believe that in our next civil war that it'll be much like our first civil war where it was actually different states versus other different states. And I've explained this in a different video of why I think it's going to happen, but to really kind of put it into a nutshell is I think that as time progresses that states that are conservative are more than likely going to grow even more staunchly conservative and states that are liberal will grow even more staunchly liberal again as time progresses and i think that liberals that live that currently live in conservative states are going to end up fleeing those conservative states to move to liberal states and vice versa again making are different states even more conservative or more liberal and growing more divided? So to keep going with the, as the states grow more divided, eventually something is going to happen that, you know, either a state on the conservative side or a state on the liberal side, but eventually something is going to happen where that state does not agree with the federal government on something and the federal government will send troops in to force that state to do whatever it is that the federal government wants that state to do. And as that standoff happens, kind of like what you're seeing in Texas right now, other states that align with that state will send troops to support that state and then something will happen, some kind of a flashpoint will happen and a shot will get fired and we will hear that shot across the United States and then boom, we'll have our next all out fight with states versus states in a very divided country. So now since I've kind of laid out why I do believe that our next civil war won't be people fighting in major cities across the United States, but more of states versus states. Let's talk about why I don't think it will be such a lopsided victory for the conservatives like the common belief is out there. Now, one of the big reasons that I think it won't be such a lopsided victory is that liberal states have a tendency to have more technology in their states. They have more businesses that do technology. They have more technology workers. And in today's world, we're, we're seeing where technology can really make or break a battle. I mean, if, let's just look at it. Where is most of the technology companies and technology workers located, located at in this country. I mean, they're typically, most of the time, they're not in conservative states. So if we do have a civil war 2.0 in this country, the liberal states will probably have the advantage of technology over the conservative states. And what that means then is that conservative states probably won't have nearly the amount of radar or nearly the amount of other things needed to get men into battle or to collect information and intelligence to successfully win those battles. I mean, think about all the things that require technology that we use in war to win battles now. Communications, internet, flying airplanes, the vehicles that transport food and transport troops and stuff like that. If you don't have those or if the other side has much more of those, the side that doesn't have those is really going to be at a disadvantage. 
As a serious prepper, you can take control of your emergency preparedness by getting an emergency stash of your everyday medications, such as your cholesterol medicine or diabetes medicine or your heart medicine, or you can get an emergency stash of antibiotics known as the Jace case all through Jace Medical. So click the link below to make a major jump in your medical preparedness plan and be sure to enter the discount code of ethical to save $10 off your order when you do so. Now let's get back to the video. So I just unfortunately do believe that if we have another civil war, the liberal side is going to have technology as an advantage over the conservative side. Now, some people might still be scoffing at this video and saying, hey, what does that matter? We still have our armed men that are ready to fight, which is good, but we also have to remember this, that if the other side has technology on their side, they can be sitting in a control center and operating unmanned drones to, our, to attack the conservative side forces. They don't even have to carry a gun if they have the technology on their side. And we also have to remember that as of right now, most of our major military and intelligent command centers are located in liberal states. So if we do have a Civil War 2.0, the liberal side will have the advantage of having the command centers that can direct how battles are fought, that can direct how intelligence is gathered and all the things that are important for winning battles. Now, luckily, I believe that the majority of our military personnel are conservative people, especially the common soldiers that haven't risen really high in rank yet. So I do think that if a Civil War 2.0 does pop off, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of soldiers that's going to be willing to take up arms to defend a state that wants to see drag queen strip shows in front of children. So that is a positive thing there. So don't get me wrong, I am not saying that if, if we have another civil war that the liberals will definitely win that, but I do gotta name this video something to get you to click on it. I just wanna put these thoughts in your head and get you thinking so that you realize that if we do have another civil war that it's not gonna be such a lopsided victory that's gonna happen in the course of three days like you think. The other thing I want you to remember too is that if we have a, another civil war in this country, it's gonna be absolutely horrible. It's gonna be something that will scar us for generations to come. If you've ever experienced true violence in your life, you, you will not want to see us go into another civil war. Like I said in my other uh, video, women, innocent women and children always end up dying in wars. Children become orphans. People can be brutal. We will witness things that we will wish that we never would have seen. So what are your thoughts on this process? Do you think that if we have another civil war that it will be a lopsided victory for the conservative side or do you think it would be a, a longer, more protracted, bloody war that we'll regret that we ever had? Comment down below with your thoughts on this. Now if we do have another civil war, one of the things I do believe that will happen is that supply chains will be severely interrupted by sabotage or what have you. So a very important prepping skill that you can learn to prepare for the next civil war will be learning how to make your own natural medicine and to see a whole playlist that I am doing on how to make different natural medicines for everyday ailments like headaches and skin cuts and skin infections and coughs and stuff like that, click on the video that should be appearing on the screen just about now to learn that really powerful prepper knowledge. Anyways, folks, this is enough internet for me today. I do need to get back to work. And folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching. And I pray that you have a good night.